harness, a feeding table, garbage cans. We have a double sink and feeding tent. We also have supply the kennels, eight of them. We have different kinds of dog mats, food bowls, light bulbs, a fire extinguisher, another first aid kit, because this is if it, anything's going to happen, this is probably where you're gonna need it the most. And a freezer. Employees here are we have two guides with their trained dogs, and they work when needed. They aid their clients to have the most successful in hunting, hunting and fishing adventure possible. They help a little bit with cleaning and of the animals. And any questions that they might have while hunting or whatever, they can answer. I selected them through interview. They get paid 200 bucks a day of guiding, not including tips. They help when needed, like I said, and they help a lot with the safety of hunting. Make sure everyone's doing everything right. Funding for my business, <clears throat> I have a 10-year business loan from the bank and revolving operation operating note from the bank for supplies and utilities. My budget for supplies, it's about $30,000 for the lodge and your 2,000 acres of land, it's $125,000. So total supplies, budget, everything, it's about $150,000. We, co it costs $350 per person per night to stay here. So different kinds of laws we have to follow are charge and fill out monthly sales and taxes and stuff like that. We must have the liability blanket cover coverage and obviously follow the hunting laws for South Dakota. Advertising, we built the website and you put it on any other website that will allow you to have it, your name on there. Larger city newspapers, attend hunting trade shows, and you make apparel, clothing, and novelty items for your life. Overall, I learned a lot about what it takes to make a business and how much effort you need to put into it, and I had a lot of fun doing this.